Hi guys, and uh, this is Clem from Travel with Clem. Welcome to Freelance Fridays. And um, every Friday, I share unique tips and amazing gems to help you um, if you want to get started working online, whether as a side hustle or as a full time job. So um, today I'm going to talk about a specific topic that um, somebody brought up to me uh, when we were having one of the one-on-one -on -one call, free calls. And um, just to put it a, a little bit in perspective, um, throughout, um, for the past two weeks, I've been doing one-on-one -on -one free calls uh, for anyone who wants to figure out what skills they can use to work online, um, which one of the skills they have and what they can um, use to basically start getting, um, start working online, sorry. All right, so on one of the calls that I had this week, um, somebody asked me a question that I really resonated a lot with. And the question was, how do I overcome feelings of um, inadequacies and fears that I am not good enough for a specific job? <laughs> so when I saw that question, my heart sunk because it reminded me of the first few jobs that I had online. The first time I, I had, I, I was, I, I tried to apply for jobs online. You know, I would read through job boards. I would read through job descriptions and I would see everything that the employer is looking for. But even though I had the skills and the capacity to fulfill those jobs, sometimes I felt like, you know, Maybe I'm not good enough, you know, maybe they're not going to take me um, for whatever reasons. So I really resonated with that question. And that is something that I battled um, a lot when I was getting started working online. And I know that it's also something that a lot of people um, struggle with. It can creep that kind of fear can cripple you, can prevent you from even putting a step in front of the other. Even if you have all the skills, like literally all the technical or personal skills that you need for a specific online job, you read your job description, you read everything, but still you do, you cannot get yourself to press the apply button or to um, basically go through with that job application. How do you do that? How do you get over that fear and those feelings of inadequacy? So, um, if there's one tip that I have to share with you, and that is something I practice every day is, honey, the fear is not going to go away, but you have to do it afraid. You have to do it afraid. Um, there is a quote that I read, uh, from Kobe Bryant. and um, the quote said, um, pain is a sign or, you know, an indication that beyond that pain, there is something deeper and something more important, some, something amazing that you're going to achieve if you only have the courage to go through the pain. And that quote is related to exercise, like physical exercise. But in a way, I apply that to fear. Um, and so I believe that fear as well is an indication that, you know, on the other side of fear, there is something, there is what you want, you know, there is something that is better than what you have right now. And so even if the fear doesn't go away, do it afraid. The second thing that I want to um, um, use to encourage you, is, if you if you have feelings of inadequacies or fear, is that, you know, you don't, um, I mean, we, the human mind is routed in, you know, always thinking about the worst case scenario. Like we always think to ourselves, you know, what if it doesn't work? What if I don't get hired? What if I don't get interviewed? What if I don't get selected? But actually, what if you get selected? What if they hire you? You know, what if they interview you? And what if they like you for who you are? Um, train yourself to think more positively instead of thinking um, about the worst case scenarios, about you not taking that opportunity or you not being good enough for that job. Think about what if I'm actually good enough? What if I am the person that they are looking for? You are literally depriving yourself from the opportunity to explore um, something greater just because you are not thinking positively. So I think that um, if you practice um, remembering that beyond your fear there is something greater and if you practice telling yourself that um, instead of instead of thinking what if i'm not good enough you practice telling yourself what if i'm actually good enough what if i am what they want if you practice those things i think that they will help you uh, better deal with the feelings of not feeling adequate in adequate enough for a specific job or you know not feeling um 
you know, good enough for it. I know that has definitely helped me and I hope that um, these tips help you as well. So think positive. Think about what your life will be like if you land that job. Think about the things that you will achieve, you know, when you get that money. Think about the places you will go. Think about the things you will invest in and let that motivation push you to go beyond the fear because I strongly believe that beyond that fear, there is something greater. There is whatever you want, or even if it's not exactly what you want, it is a step towards what you want. All right. I hope you found this useful. This was Freelance Fridays with Clem uh, for more tips and more encouragement and um, exclusive content about getting started on working online. Um, um, check out all my channels on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, Travel with Clem. I share those tips, uh, those amazing tips every Friday. And if you have any questions, any concerns, or even any feedback on this video, feel free to drop a comment below. Thank you so much and have a blessed Friday.